homework. I'm going to the zoo. Hey, current. Let's see if this works. Oh man, your Wernicke's areas are really poorly developed, don't you think? Right? They can't even understand us. As you can see, we got our nice turkey in there, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff. And it's using its occipital lobe to connect to its eyes and see us and stuff. Just Looks like right here we got a wallaby. Oh man, I probably just ruined its sleep, but it was using its pawns to sleep. Probably All right not. guys, here we have the Camelus dromedaries. I don't speak Latin. And as you can see, they got some nice humps, some nice lovely lady lumps, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and those humps like store water, I'm pretty sure, so they don't get thirsty. And their hypothalamus is what makes them thirsty. So those you know why these sea lions are better than sea worlds? Because they're alive and they don't kill their trainers? Well, I was actually going to say because they can balance better using their cerebellum. Oh, yeah. My parietal lobe would be going nuts if I touched that porcupine right in the back. Yikes! Luco Jenny's. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty depressed. Probably because it's in a cage. It's never getting out. Um, but anyways, it's amygdala that's making it depressed. So better give him some citalopram or something. See that skyline right there? It's pretty much the corpus callosum because it's connecting one side of Africa to the other side of Africa. This here is the spinal cord. We're transmitting information. My medulla is pretty calm right now because these tigers out here aren't attacking us. You're using your Broca's area to speak to us. Here we have a uh, hippopotamus. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, sounds a lot like hippocampus though. So that's how I'm gonna remember it for the test. Oh. Coming home from the zoo, Karen has to use his reticular activation system, cerebral cortex, and thalamus in order to stay alert while driving. I'm not doing it. I heard you went to the zoo. Dope. 